Hi gang. Today we're going to do a quick review of uh, states of consciousness and substances that alter your consciousness. Um, just to get clarity between what they do and what's legal and what's illegal in each category. First category, depressants. What they do for you is slow everything down. They slow down heartbeat. They slow down respiration. They lower blood pressure. They slow down processing mentally. Um, and there's many different kinds. There's alcohol, which of course is legal to purchase if you're of the legal drinking age. Slows you down. Even though people report feeling more jazzed after drinking alcohol, actually if we were to take your blood pressure and do heart rate, everything would be slower after drinking alcohol. Barbiturates and tranquilizers, these tend to be prescribed by doctors. Um, not that they aren't taken illegally, because they are, but the whole idea with barbiturates as painkillers. Um, for example, if you've ever broken a bone, been screaming in pain, and have been given something called fentanyl, all of a sudden the pain goes away. It's a barbiturate. It slows everything down, kills the pain. Tranquilizers in the world of psychological disorders, the whole purpose of a tranquilizer is to just calm you down, lower the level of anxiety in your thinking, slow it down so that way you have a chance to deal with the reality around you instead of being consumed by the anxiety. Heroin, however, not legal. Definitely a depressant, slows everything down, but not legal. Stimulants, which pick you up. Uh, again, heartbeat will increase here. Uh, respiration will increase, blood pressure will increase, thinking will increase, doesn't get better. Some people think it, thinks it gets better. No, it just speeds up. Um, caffeine, definitely legal. Coffee, tea, Mountain Dew. Uh, definitely the most abused psychoactive substance out there. Then there's nicotine, which if you're of an age where you can buy it in cigarettes, it really does accelerate everything. If any of you all know someone who smokes cigarettes, they will say that they need to go smoke a cigarette to calm down, which implies that it's a depressant. Actually, what's happening in reality, they're going out and smoking and feeding their nicotine addiction. Uh, so if we were to check heartbeat and respiration after smoking, it would have sped up. Um, amphetamines, including crystal meth. They can be prescribed by doctors, but usually when it comes to amphetamines, speed, it's illegal and it's abused, just like cocaine, just like crack. They're not legal for purchase in the United States. Now the last group, hallucinogens and hallucinogens, what you have is an alteration in perception. There can be stimulant effects, there can be depressant effects, but for the most part in hallucinogens, there's an alteration uh, in perceptions. Uh, marijuana, which depending on the state you're in the United States, may or may not be legal for purchase. Marijuana alters a number of perceptions that we love in the medical world. It alters your perception of hunger and taste so that people who can't eat because, for example, they're on chemotherapy and their stomach is messed up, now they can eat. For people who are experiencing significant neurological issues, such as epilepsy, marijuana tends to alter the way nerves perceive things, and it can reduce seizures. It can reduce pain in some people who have neurological disorders as well. Now, MDMA, X, ecstasy, molly, um, it's a synthetic drug. It does alter perceptions. Um, again, it may have a stimulant or a depressant effect on the side, but it alters your perceptions of emotions and it alters your perception of touch. Because with this drug afterwards, people tend to feel more affectionate towards people and also tend to enjoy touch sensations more afterwards. Now LSD, that would happen to be the smiley sticker on the tongue at the bottom of your screen. Um, this is a very active alterer, uh, alters visual perceptions. You can see things that are there or you cannot see things that are there. It can alter auditory hallucinations um, in terms of seeing things, excuse me, not seeing, in terms of hearing things that aren't there or not hearing things that are there. Um, but 
if you understand the broad categories, what is happening to your body, increasing, decreasing, some sort of change in perception, that's what's going to help you understand how this can impact your states of consciousness. So, thank you. Bye-bye.